Crafts campers, it's me, Crafty Carla, your Arts and Crafts Coordinator for the summer. Are you ready to do some crafts? <sighs> Boy, am I. I'm super excited. Alright, stay tuned to this video to watch a super awesome craft with me! super excited to show you this super awesome craft today. Um, it's called a rock picture holder. Um, so it's exactly what you think it is. Um, it's a rock that holds pictures. It's pretty awesome. Now, um, some things that you're going to need. You're going to need um, a rock so you can go outside and find a rock. I here have two rocks. I have a pretty medium sized rock. And then I got this really big rock for um, hopefully um, some larger pictures. Um, you're going to need some wire and uh, some paints. And because we are painting, we're, we're going to want to be careful. So um, I have some newspaper laid down here. See? Um, and you're going to want to make sure that your parents know that you are going to be using paint so then they can help you make a spot in your house that is going to be okay if we accidentally get some paint on. All right, now that you've gotten all your supplies together and you've spoken to your parents about where a good spot to set up your craft uh, area will be, um, and you've gotten all your materials, hopefully you've gotten a rock, but if you haven't, don't worry, it's not too late. Go ahead and pause this video right here and go outside and find yourself a rock. All right, Luther Crest campers. Now, as we um, continue painting our rocks, um, some things that you will um, need to know um, about your rock drying. Now, it's going to take a second to dry, um, and uh, that would be good time for you to work um, on some other things, maybe. Um, if you'd like to make more than one craft and you have enough uh, materials to make um, some more, that would be a time uh, to uh, go and find some more rocks and uh, paint those. Otherwise, um, another cool idea would be to just paint some rocks um, and place them outside your house with little kind messages on them. Um, to uh, hopefully brighten someone's day as they walk by your home. Um, as you can see, I'm painting my big rock now and I'm painting it purple because purple is my um, absolute favorite color. Um, and when I'm done with this, I'm going to work on um, painting some rocks for my doorstep so that if um, anyone ever comes to my door, they can see these nice little cute rocks that I've painted. Um, and it's just the same is what we're doing now except for um, we're not going to turn them into uh, photo holders instead we're just going to paint them and we're going to display them outside of our house so it's a really kind of cool idea so that is one thing to do um, while you're waiting otherwise um, you can always just pause the video and come back um, in a little bit once your rocks are all dry and um, once that happens, then I'll teach you how to do the next part um, so we can get um, our wire on so we can hold some photos on our rocks. All right. See you then. All right. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to do the wire. So you want a pretty decent sized wire. Um, right now, um, I'm just using some extras that I have. And you're going to take one end and wrap it around a pen or a marker or something to make a little spiral just like this. Slide it off. Alright, I hope you finished uh, your wire wrapping it around your marker and making it um, what I'm going to call a little spiral head. Um, next, you are going to wrap it around your rock. What I suggest is bending your wire a couple inches from your spiral, just like that, so then you know where your um, picture is going to stand, and then taking it, now this rock's still a little bit wet, but taking it and then wrapping it all the way around 
your rock until it's tight. Now, I can show you my final product here. Now, I don't have a photo to put it in, but um, just like that. That's my uh, rock photo holder. And it's pretty tight, and if you need to, you can uh, pull the wires anytime to tighten it. Now, uh, as you can see, I finished mine. I decided to do both polka dots, um, blue and green, and purple and white. Um, and now I will add photos to these at some point. These are perfect gifts um, to give. Um, otherwise, you can put pictures in them of your family, uh, maybe your animal, potentially a friend. Um, if you have past photos of camp, this would also be a great place to store them. Um, and it's just a fun gift that um, that you can do in a fun craft that's relatively easy and fun. And we got to use some nature and it's just overall a great craft. And so I hope you guys had a great time with me. I hope you guys had the best time making crafts. I know that I'm going to use this um, rock photo holder um, for my next photo, of course, um, because it's just a great one. And uh, we had, um, we had a lot of fun, I think. Did you guys have fun? Let me know if you had fun.